Congratulations on the show, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Really enjoying it thus far. Uh, I know it's a project that's been kind of bubbling around for, for a little while. It's going to be a film, and then now you're obviously doing a TV series. So what was, the, what was the thing that broke the ice between you two and made the collaboration and made this, this version of it come, come to life? I think we're still waiting to break the ice. <laughs> yeah, it's like three, three years. We're softening up a little. I have to call him Mr. Howie. <laughs> yeah. Okay? It's, it's in my Excuse contract. Excuse me, Mr. Howie. Um, you know, I, I think there's this, this very simple thing, which is don't make something unless the people making it are fans of it. You know, I, they, I always say hire Peter Jackson, Jackson to do Lord of the Rings because he loves Lord of the Rings. So, um, you know, I was lucky enough to get the nod to, do, to work on uh, this adaptation because I love the books. And, and that was my instinct right from the beginning. Let's start it the way Hugh did with this story about the sheriff and his wife and then take it from there. Um, it was risky in a certain degree because we don't really meet the true heroine of the story until the, towards the very end of the first episode. But I felt that it, that was still the right way to go. So that, I think that helped. You knew that I wanted to do the show the way the book was the book. And for me, handing over a project to people who uh, have incredible track records, a lot of talent, uh, bring their own creativity and imagination into it, it's uh, very relaxing. It's very easy. Um, I just the the work has been in great hands the whole way and it seems to be that uh particularly now as television has become such a big big thing now for a lot of people in terms of mini series and telling stories that it feels like for book translations this is kind of the the way to do it to do it right Hugh for you you must have been delighted that it wasn't kind of being condensed into a even a three-hour film that you were able to tell the story as as close as you intended to as possible yeah it's refreshing because you get to even show things that aren't even in the book uh things that are only hinted at mm. Um, and breathe more uh, life into it and create new scenes. There's a lot of fan service in the first uh, couple episodes where you get to see more of um, Holson and um, Allison's story, but you also get to see Holson and Juliet working together. And that's not something we got to play with in the book at all. So um, I'm, I'm just thrilled that uh, the project was kind of delayed until the medium uh, adapted to allow this kind of storytelling to take place. And you've got a wonderful ensemble. I mean, this is a two two day junket with all the people that we're inter interviewing, which is amazing. I mean, did you, it, it, it must be amazing to, to be able to get that that quality of, of people from Rebecca all the way down through through the cast. You must be you must be so excited to get to work with all these people. Absolutely thrilled. And and again, that goes to your point about this medium maturing. You, you don't get actors like this in TV fifteen years ago. Um, it's uh, the, I think they get excited to have more time to uh, be on a project longer uh, to tell some of the best stories being told right now are being told through TV. So we were very, very, very lucky to, to get this cast. But um, uh, I, now that they're here, I can't imagine it any other way. Fantastic. Well, guys, I wish you all the best with it. Thanks so much for your time. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing more. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!